Hello everybody, I am Brandman19 and welcome to episode 47 of our Let's Learn of the Ottoman Empire and Europa Universalis 4. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last episode. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make sure it is. We've done really well, um, in my opinion, considering. I mean, I didn't do... I mean, later on, the army mechanics have kind of got me. I don't understand why I'm losing so much. Could be a factor for morale to discipline, just stuff like that. I don't know. But I mean, we've done pretty well. I mean, we've... We own all the Black Sea. We own half of the uh, Caspian Sea. We own a good bit of the Mediterranean, too. I mean, all of the Arabian Peninsula, all of Egypt, except for this. We're about to take that. And uh, a good bit of Persia, too, except for whatever Sin has in Asia. So now I'm going to go ahead and declare this war. We don't have really the manpower for it, but I don't care. So go ahead and do this. We're now going to be at war with the Mamluks. Um, you don't know, you're going to come up here and take over that. There it goes here. Um, let it go. And let's hope that we can quickly beat these armies and end this. I don't have a whole lot. There we go. Fayum has already been taken over, so the Mamluks are pretty much done once this army's gone. Nakoma has... Where was Nakoma? Oh man, that's right next door. Um, I thought that was uh, Nakor here, honestly. Good battle here. We can take over both of these. I'm just I can call it quits. We lose ninety nine thousand manpower. We're gonna have to do it. I don't want to lose that army professionalism. There goes that as an Ottoman province. Losing another sixty five forty that I can't really afford to lose. Well, let's go ahead and finish this and let me run back across. Let's go to there. Getting closer. Siege of Comb is now one. All right. Let's go down here and try to find these guys. We just got to make Asia want to quit because now that the Mamluks do, we're pretty much in great shape. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hurry it up. Surprisingly, Ajam still wants this. There we go, caught him. There's a battle right there. Oh no, it's not one yet. Still not quite one. And that should be it right there. That would require more? Wow, their development is that high. Well, I didn't expect that, honestly. Let's go on and knock this guy. Hey, Jean, you should be good for whatever deal I want to do now. Get war reps. Could make you an Ottoman vassal. I wish I could. There we 
goes. Let's go ahead and... Well, they're sitting there already. Let's put these guys right here. Mamluks. Now let's go this way first. And they've got an army. I mean... Oh, lag right now. What is going on? Must be some big battles going on around. What about the Mamluks? Could I take over all of them in one? Absolutely could. Okay. Come on. Catch up with them. Let's get them. They're actually building riflemen and infantry down here. How in the world? Run him over. Nice. Okay. Let's call it quits with that. There you go. And the Mamluks. some reason the game doesn't like all the movement going on right now. So it's acting all... It, it's dropping frames really bad, even though it's like not taxing my CPU at all. That's one of the problems with this game, is that it doesn't run multi-thread. So... It can't... You know, it's all f trying to flow off of one core right now. That is just a ridiculous problem to be having in these games that come out after you know, 2008, 2009. I hope whenever they do do an EU5 that they do, they fix this. Yo, we're not at war anymore, though. Um, make core, make core, make core. That's probably about as far as we're going to get to go. I, mean, I don't think... Truce, all, exp all of our truces expire after 1822. Ethiopia is not included in that, but I'm not going to war with Ethiopia again. Don't think I could get a war here with Serbia, no. Wallachia, how close are you to being annexed? You're at 93.7, so I will get Wallachia included. Which is good for us on that. Oh, come on. They put in an they put in like a thing for independence for Wallachia, so now watch it, it's not gonna climb up anymore. Is it? Nope, it won't go up any higher. Crap, come on. Well, I guess I'm not going to get that then. Well, what can you do? You can't always stop that stuff. And 
now we're just going to let the game march along. Uh, tolerance of true faith is fine in this case. We don't have anything else left. Investing in new tech. Make sure that's still, yeah, it's still at 40. Cancel that mission. I could go to war with Spain. I just don't want to. Okay. I think we're approaching the end here. We're in December. I think we did pretty well, though. No more Mamluks. I mean, there's this little bit of piece of Asia that's not even like center surrounded by us. Up oh, there it goes, right there. All right. Well, we had the second largest army, the seventh largest navy, the most provinces, the highest province value, the fourth highest income, and the second highest trade income. So doing pretty well there. Um. Let's see. I think we did all right. What is this? I have no clue. Show the timeline. All right, let's take a look at this, y'all. All right, the entire world. Starting in November 1444. Remember, we're right here. Let's take a look. Going through the fast forward time frame here. Oh, come on. Get out of the way. There you go. All right, so we've now started our work on the Arabian Peninsula. There you go. They have started colonizing in the New World pretty heavily now. You start seeing it gathering. Russia's almost got its whole territory. All right, well, we've got we've kind of gotten the Arabian Peninsula down now. We're entering 1700. Yep, there we go. Starting to blow up even bigger right now. Mamluks took, yeah, okay. There it is right there. That's the final bit. Let's see if I can figure it out here. This looks to be like kind of like a Portuguese Canada, so that's there. Portuguese Peru. Transplatina is probably Portuguese as well. The English have, of course, Great Britain. Oh, also, we did get this little bit of <laughs> the out of this little territory up here, which is kind of funny. Uh, English kind of own all of this. They own this. Spanish own this there. They got Australia. They got good parts of out here. They've got all this, so good for them. They also got the West Indies. French have like Colombia. I think they had La Plata. Well, that was Brittany. La Plata was Brittany for a while. And then they, got, of course, got that. We did pretty well, though. I think, you know, expanding our territory kind of runs from here. Around Ethiopia, up and down through here. Out there. I mean, I'm happy with it. It was further than I thought I'd get. I thought I would get more here. And come right around here. And then maybe take over, like, a portion of this. And then I want to kind of run across northern Africa, but I never did do it. And come up through here. So I think overall, though, I mean, I did more down here than I did going out here as I wanted and down here more than right there. A little bit more out here as well than these other places. But overall, I think I did really well um, for a first play, you know, full campaign uh, where I just barely know the mechanics. I feel better about it and, uh, you know, definitely something to work off of. There's a lot more things to work on, though, in the future. Um, I think we'll get that in the next campaign. The next Let's Learn will take place with France. So there should be a lot more to it. But uh, other than that, guys, I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe uh, check out Discord. Let me know what I could have done better other than you know attacking some guys earlier or being a little more aggressive. But uh, you know, just let me know. So, all right, guys, appreciate y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out Discord again, and I will see you all next time.